my name is dr girdhar gyani i am currently the director general for association of healthcare providers of india which is represent the vast majority of private hospitals in the country earlier i served as secretary general quality council of india from 2003 to 2012 and today i am very happy that i am speaking on the occasion when quality council of india has completed 25 years glorious service to the nation let me say here that quality generally has got many definitions but the one definition which says that quality means satisfying the customers needs or society needs on continuous basis when we are saying continuous basis that means the needs because keep on changing that means the quality function has to be dynamic that means it has to keep raising the level from the providers now in that context let me go back to year 1980s when we started talking about the quality in this country this followed up by the quality movement in japan and we had visit by mr ishikawa who was the quality guru from the japan who happened to come to india in 1986 that was the starting of the quality journey i happened to be in nasik as a part of the drdo team which was looking after the quality certification of the military aeroplanes and we started the journey of quality in hcl nasik by formation of the quality circles it was 1993 where prime minister narsimha rao and finance minister dr manmohan singh they introduced the liberalization liberalization means competition so that actually starts the journey for building quality in the country and that is where 1997 quality council of india at right time was established uh, so i think i want to relate that formation of the quality council of india with the liberalization process of 1993 today i am very happy that when quality council of india has completed 25 glorious years of service it has made impact across in all walks of the life thereafter i moved to jaipur where government of india appointed me as the founder director of the indian institute of quality management that was the year 1993 where i served till 2003 and during this 10 years i must tell you that we trained 15000 people from the industry on the various aspects of the quality in fact it was this tenure that i was selected as secretary general quality council of india i joined in 2003 this was the time when you know country was preparing to establish the accreditation framework so that our certification our inspection our testing becomes globally recognized i think this is the glorious period from 2003 onward that we got we signed the multilateral agreement with international accreditation forum and uh, our uh, board what we call nabcb became globally recognized at this point of time the quality council of india management also decided to form a new board national board for quality promotion the role of this board was so that quality can be talked about in all walks of the life because nabcb was more of the structural thing like uh, quality management system but nbqp role was to actually empower the society because unless you empower the society and unless they demand quality you cannot build quality and that is the journey which quality Co- council of india successfully came up and uh, further it actually made inroads into the various government departments because quality you can bring by empowered consumers second you can bring through the regulatory bodies and so in the various government department we were able to introduce quality and we even successfully convince many government departments that their regulation should rely on certification 
which is under accreditation from the Quality Council of India. Quality Council of India has been able to impact services manufacturing equally across. I can also add here that in 2005, we added a new chapter in the Quality Council of India because in the parliament there was a question about the healthcare quality. Many people wanted to come from other countries and they wanted to see that can they take treatment in the Indian hospitals. And that is where the journey started and the role was assigned to Quality Council of India by Ministry of Health. And we started the journey in 2005 and completed the standard for hospital accreditation first time in the country. And we launched the standard in 2006. I must add here that in 2007, President Abdul Kalam awarded five certificates to the five hospitals which got the first accreditation. In fact, that really created the bug in the country and more and more hospitals started going for accreditation. Let me mention here that accreditation in healthcare is not simply quality, but it is also related to the patient safety. That means we were able to reduce morbidity, mortality by way of accreditation. Dr. Abdul Kalam also assigned new motto for the Quality Council of India, which was quality for national well-being. And actually that has been the mission of Quality Council of India from year 2007. One point which I also want to mention here, that quality comes through competition. Quality Council of India played the key role in empowering the society at large. Because once the society is empowered, they understand what is the quality meaning. They only can put the pressure on the supplier. And that is where, you know, this board NBQP has played the key role. Today, when we are talking of quality in the product, quality in services, in education institutions, in the food safety, in the healthcare, everywhere, Quality Council of India has successfully communicated the needs and requirement of the quality. And once consumers is empowered, and for example, if a patient goes to a hospital and simple question he asks, are you accredited? I think that is enough. If the hospital is not accredited, tomorrow he will start the journey for accreditation. So I think besides the accreditation process, the important aspect which Quality Council of India has successfully been able to complete is the journey to empower the common man. And I think that is what actually is transforming the scenario of India. And today, if you can see, we have started exporting our goods. So far, we were only importing the goods. But because of the Quality Council of India, we have structure in place by which we are able to certify, inspect and, you know, test the product to the global standard, our country now is gaining and gaining through more and more export and generating the important foreign exchange.